The key part of a wheel is its hub, the central point to which all the spokes attach. It's comprised of a body which receives the spokes and houses an axle and bearings. If the wheel has a gear system, then those gears and a clutch are also integrated into the hub. This is the only commercially available unicycle with a gearing system. Located on the wheel hub, it enables the rider to push a button to shift from regular gear into high gear and reach 25 miles per hour, twice the speed of a regular unicycle. The geared wheel hub contains six identical small gears, rotating around a large central gear. The central one is called the sun wheel, and the small ones planetary gears, because they revolve around the central gear the way planets revolve around the sun. Each of the small gears begins as a disc-shaped steel blank. A conventional 1950s-era gear-cutting machine cuts teeth into it, as a shower of oil washes away the shards of metal. The oil also cools and lubricates the tool, so that it doesn't overheat or jam. After about 30 seconds of machining, the blank is a fully shaped gear. An even older machine, circa 1930, mills a larger blank into the central gear. However, because this gear is bigger, cutting the teeth into it takes much longer, about two minutes. Once all the gears are machined, they, along with the hub's other steel components, undergo a complex heat treatment process to strengthen the steel. Elsewhere in the factory, workers assemble the two halves of the clutch, the component which locks into regular or high gear when the rider shifts. Using a cylindrical tool called a brooch, the machine grooves in the center of the clutch. Slots on the axle will fit into these grooves. Next, they unscrew the two halves of the clutch and mount eight hollow pins in each one. In one half, they also install three longer alignment pins and a grease spring inside each hollow pin. Then they thread the two halves of the clutch onto the axle, aligning the axle slots in the clutch's grooves and the pins on one half with corresponding pins and holes on the other. After fastening the halves together once again, they mount the six planetary gears on a ring called the planet carrier, then install it on the axle. The spring-loaded pins on the clutch click into corresponding slots on the planet carrier. These slots are engineered to fit the pins with no more than 0.01 millimeters of clearance. After securing the planet carrier to the axle with the retaining clip, they insert ball bearings with the spring in two holes on opposite sides of the axle. A retaining ring holds these spring-loaded bearings in place. Meanwhile, a laser engraver etches the company logo and product identification on the wheel hub body. The body is made of high-strength aluminum that's undergone an electrochemical treatment to make it corrosion resistant. They mount the hub body on a hydraulic press and insert the sun wheel, surrounded by a large ball bearing. Then they activate the press, which forces the sun wheel into the body. They install the body on the axle, positioning the sun wheel right in the center of the planetary gears. A cover protects the gears from dust, dirt, and precipitation. On the opposite end of the body, they install additional bearings and affix a cover with nine screws. Now the shift buttons, a chrome-plated one for shifting down, a gold-plated one for shifting up. Both screw into a shaft running through the center of the axle. The two spring-loaded bearings workers inserted in the axle earlier hold that shaft in place. This cross-section model shows how everything comes together. The shift button moves the shaft, which moves the clutch to lock into the selected gear. In regular gear, pedaling one revolution makes the wheel turn one revolution. When the rider shifts to high gear, pedaling one revolution makes the wheel turn one and a half revolutions. The unicycle moves 50% further as a result of the same action. Riders use the regular gear for climbing and the higher gear for flat or downhill terrain. They hit the shift button with their heel or ankle while pedaling. A quick, slight movement that won't throw them off balance.